it is Thursday. I don't even know. It's like the 20th or something of March. And I uh, started this window last night, and I just finished one off. I got two more to do down here. So the next one I'll take you along. Um, but anyway, here's the finished product. These uh, windows had already been bought when I bought this place, but they have not been put in, so that's what I'm working on now. The, so first thing I'm going to do with these old windows, I'm going to rip all the... I'm going to rip all the brick molding off. Um, and then once I get the brick molding off, as raw as they are, these windows should just pop right out. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. All right, so as you can see, if you got a rotted window, it's not too hard to get out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean all these surfaces up, get all the old caulk off and whatnot, and then uh, I might have to put a 2x4 down at the bottom just to um, fit the replacement window in, but shouldn't be too bad. I'm in here, Hunter. Daddy? Yeah. Um, we need help. Okay. Like we need help. I got this all cleaned up, and I just got to cut a 2 by 4 to um, make the rough opening smaller, um, and then that window should fit right in. So I'm gonna fit. I'm gonna cut that. Then I'll cut the two side brick molds and put them in that'll hold then when i put the window in that'll hold it and keep it from falling out and then i'll cut everything else so let me get a measurement on that and we'll go cut it you're silly 50 and a quarter all right i'll meet you over there hunter Hold on. Just a quick little tip if you're, uh, I don't know, if your kids are anything like mine, they will get into everything. So I always unplug my saws when I'm not around. Um, my son has a tendency to try to start them up. So I will just, uh, hey Hunter. I always unplug them when I go around the back of the house to keep them from cutting their hand off. So. I want to say hi. Can I say hi? Yep. Say hi? Yep. Alright, let's say, what do you need help with? Hello! What do you guys need help with? Making it, turning it into a box. What are you guys making over here? Doing a box. Wow, that is amazing. We're trying to make a box now. Alright, I'll help you out. Yay! Alright, so these windows that were in here were the new construction windows. So these windows are the original windows. So they were put in before any of the drywall, um, the brick, all that stuff. So when you're replacing windows, a lot of times you'll have to uh, shim the windows um, when you take the old ones out. So that's what I'm doing. Taking this two by four and placing it in the bottom like that and I'll screw it down and then uh, that'll give me a little tighter tolerance to work with when I put the window in, a little less to shim. All right, I just measured the width of the window and it's 48 and three quarters and my rough opening is a little over 50 and a quarter. So that gives me an inch and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half inch plywood and uh, put some pieces in um, right there to shim that in a little bit. Just makes uh, putting the window in a lot easier. You don't have to use so many shims. So I'll still have like a quarter inch on each side uh, for the window. So I'm going to go ahead and make those and then uh, should be ready to put this window in. Alright, we have enough room for the window so now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut pieces for these the side brick molding pieces. I'm going to cut those 
and I'm going to temporarily put them up so when I set the window up there it will keep the window from falling out so I like to do that it's a little bit easier um, when you're doing it by yourself so I'm going to measure those cut those and then uh, we'll uh, throw the window in all right now we're going to test fit the window Everything looks good, so I'm gonna get this put in, and then um, I'll get uh, screws to fasten the window in. All right, it's all square, so I'm gonna go outside and make my bottom trim brick molding and then caulk it and the outside is done. So then all I have to do is trim the inside out. So we'll go over that uh, when I get to that. I have six windows to do and I'll finish them all on the outside first to make them weatherproof and then I'll make all the trim for them at one time. So fits in there pretty good. So the only piece that I have to make yet is that bottom one, which I'll have to cut, cut it to length, and then I'm going to have to run it through the table saw to get it down so the water runs off of it. And I'll show you that uh, once we get to that point. All right, I got my last piece of trim made. And like with this window, there's not enough room to put a full piece of uh, brick mold. So what I do is I cut it down and then I notch it so this fits under the window. So the water will come down the window and then roll off this. So you can see when I put it in uh, what it looks like. This little gap right there will go underneath. Now we'll push that up tight and then we will caulk along there. And then the water comes down the window and off this. So we'll caulk here and here. And then that'll uh, be a watertight seal there. So. Sometimes you gotta use a little ingenuity um, when you're replacing windows like this, but it's not really too bad. Um, I did all this with a table saw and a miter saw, so a um, couple basic tools that um, if you're doing anything like this, you probably already have. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this screwed in and then caulk this and this window will be done. All right, all three windows uh, are in, in the lower level. I got them all finished on the outside, caulked and weatherproof. So I just gotta wait for this uh, caulk to dry and we'll be good. But uh, I'll do all the trimming out um, once I get all six windows in. I think tomorrow I'm gonna work on the windows upstairs. So the rest of today, I'm just gonna clean up and uh, get ready for tomorrow. And if I have any time left, then uh, I'll do something uh, 
around here. I got all kinds of little other projects to do, so we'll check them out here quick.